Well, tomorrow, students in Richland County School District 2 will return to the classroom. They're coming back to school with a new superintendent and new security upgrades. WIS reporter Jalen Tart breaks down what students and parents need to know. One of the 27,000 students will return to school in Richland School District 2 on Tuesday. The district will also start the new year with the brand new superintendent, Dr. Kim Moore. There are also big security changes. Screenings with metal detectors will now be a daily reality in Richland 2's five high schools. Like many other school districts in South Carolina, Richland 2 is dealing with a shortage of teachers. Richland 2's Senior Chief Officer of Communications, Greg Turquetta, states that the number of teachers is constantly moving as the school year approaches. Numbers this morning are 89, uh, we're still down 89 teachers. It's seven, uh, 17 high school, 43 middle, and 29 elementary. So we're constantly hiring and we're constantly having we have people resign. We've had people resign in the last couple of days. So the number is always moving. Retaining bus drivers has also been a problem for school districts across the Palmetto State as well. Richland 2 retained 95% of their drivers heading into the school year. Richland 2 will also implement a new crisis alert badge system for all faculty and teachers to help assist students throughout the school year. Turquetta explains on how the alert badges work to help students be safe during school emergencies. Badge is this. See this badge that's on me right here. Uh, that button, if I push that button three times, it sends an alert to our school staff. If I push it eight, it puts the school in a full-fledged lockdown. It calls 911 uh, and deputies are on their way. Uh, the point of that one is just as obvious as it sounds. When you can cut response time down in an actual incident, you can save lives. Whether it's safety screening stations, crisis alert badges, or school resource officers. Turquetta emphasizes that it's all worth to protecting students and making the campuses safe throughout the school year. Reporting in Columbia, Jalen Tart, WIS News 10. The safety screening stations will be at the main entrances of every high school. Students who drive or are dropped off should get to school early, as officials say the line could cause some delays. Students will need to remove computers, binders, anything metal from their backpacks before entering the school.